Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to another, uh, if I can fix my camera, god damn it. <laughs> welcome to another live stream from the Pro Tipster podcast crew. Hope you're all very well. Hello, Martin. Hello, Dan. Hi, Dan. How you doing, Paddy? How's it going? Yeah, not bad, lads. It's a bit dark where I am. Sorry about that. And, uh, but anyway, you know, you're not here to see your ugly faces. You're here for some uh, betting advice and tips. Uh, lads, what's, um, what are you most looking forward to this weekend? West Ham versus Watford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with such enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good one on Sunday, yeah. Birmingham, uh, Villa. No, um, no, I'm looking forward to sleep this weekend. It's been hectic. Sleep. <laughs> uh, of course, as well, for anyone uh, watching, uh, if you have any, any questions about this weekend's uh, football or... Uh, any tips or anything like that, any, any advice you want, don't be shy. Leave us a comment and uh, we'll get to that uh, as soon as we can, as soon as it pops up. Uh, so, lads, uh, the big one, I suppose, is uh, Spurs and Arsenal. Um, we, I know you gave your predictions on the podcast yesterday, but uh, can we have a reminder, please? Yes, uh, my prediction, I think Spurs are going to win it. Um, gone for Spurs at evens at 2.0. I think they were yesterday. Not sure what they are now, but... Um... I think they'll sneak it probably 2 1, something like that. Yeah, I've gone for Spurs to win as well. Um, I got 1.96. They've come in a little bit. I think quite a few other people have agreed with me. Um, it's the uh, game of the week here in the office, too. Um, so just looking, and currently three people have gone for the Spurs to win one for the draw, one for the way. But. It's like the Mary Celeste here today, so not many people are here to uh, to uh, have a go. Um, did you did you see um, Pochettino's comments about Michael Owen today, yesterday? I haven't actually. No. Um, have you seen this? So basically, he said that um, uh, uh, he was saying that um, he said that, that he didn't touch uh, Michael Owen, and that Michael Owen was a diver, basically. Oh, is this World Cup nineteen ninety eight? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, was it ninety eight? Or I, I can't remember. I know, I know. Pochettino was quite. I, I think, yeah, mm -hmm. it was ninety eight, wasn't he? Brought him down for the penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, yeah. uh, right, yeah. Is that the one uh, Beckham smashed in the middle, down the middle? No, 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 no. Sorry, was that was that ninety eight? I can't remember. Yeah, it was. Hang on, let me think. Yeah, it was because I was on holiday in New Quay and I won money on that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit strange that he was he brought it up, isn't it? Mm. Well, it's always talk about diving and cheating now, so maybe he had to reference something. I suppose, yeah, maybe I suppose he's been getting probably been getting a hard time over Delhi Ali and Harry Kane being uh, accused of cheating uh, yeah. last weekend. Well, um, Delhi Ali always dived more, to be honest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Did you hear the Newport County song uh, they were singing when they played them in the FA Cup uh, oh. replay? Uh, uh, you've got Deli Alley. Uh, I just don't think you understand. He's got more pubic hair than you've won silverware. <laughs> Deli Alley. Oh, God. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> usual from football. I uh, thought he was really funny. It is uh, quite funny. If, if you understand what's gone on with Deli Ali over the last week, yeah, it's course. funny. I still haven't watched the video, thankfully, and I have avoided oh. it. No, I'm not going to. Um, you know, Arsenal don't have any chance then, lads, at all, do they? Um, I mean, I've always got a chance. It is a derby, and you know they're not going to want to lose it. And you know, if a Bang Miang and Mkhitaryan are on, on their game, then who knows? But um, I don't know. I just think Spurs, Spurs will have enough. Um, Going forward, I just I don't rate Arsenal's back line. Never have um, this season or last season. So until they sort that out, um, they'll concede plenty of goals. Yeah, um, well, just not really a lot to get excited about on the Saturday matches. Are there um, Everton, Palace, Stoke, Brighton, Swansea, Burnley, West Ham, Watford? It's not going to be much of a match of the day on on Saturday night. Um, City, Leicester. Is there anything to get excited about at all, fellas? Um, I mean, God, it depends on what you what you like watching. I mean, Stoke Brighton and Swansea Burnley are, are, and West Ham Watford are pretty decent fixtures when you 
you know, consider what's going on in the league at the moment. It's all pretty tight. Um, but yeah, there's no standout, like for a neutral, I guess there's no standout games really, <laughs> apart from the early kickoff. Yeah, I think I'd say that's true. I'm just looking now and nah. Um, like I said, tomorrow's all about sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're saving yourself for the big one on Sunday. Uh, save myself for the hockey game Saturday night. Uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know who's playing. Uh, we're going along to a hockey match on Saturday night. Uh, the home team are called Fredrik Fredrik Mystic, Fredrik Mister, something like that. Some local Czech team, anyway. But um, <laughs> should be fun. Um, right, so look, we get to get to your tips then, lads. Uh, start with you, Dan. What's your tip for Saturday? Uh, so, my tip for Saturday comes in the game between Angers and Monaco. Um, I wrote about uh, League 2 um, in the preview. Uh, I wrote League, sorry, League 1, League Earn in the preview uh, on the new betting news section on Protect mm. Stuff. So, check that out for sure. Um, I, I, I might actually enter it into the comments so people can click the link. Um, yeah. So, Monaco, oh, they've had a poor season, really. By um, by any stretch of the imagination, um, but they've started to come back into things now. Um, they've had a couple of good results. They're playing Angers, who are not great. Um, just remember my notes. Um, as far as I recall, that they're, they're not at the right end of the table either. And Monaco are a surprising result: um, two point three two to win away. So um, to me, it's value. Mm. It's what I always look for. Um, but yeah. If you want to read more, hang on. I'm just going to pop it in the comments now. Um, check check out uh, uh, betting news articles, and uh, you can read about it there. Cool stuff. Uh, what's yours then, Martin? Mine on Saturday. Um, you know, I do like to keep stay in England because I know know quite a bit about English football, especially lower league. And I've actually gone for a game in League Two. Uh, gone for Newport County uh, to beat Forest Green at home. Held to 1.90. Um, now, I expected them to be a little bit shorter just because Forest Green are terrible. Um, I know they did they did manage to muster up a 2-1 win at home to Coventry last weekend. However, um, on the road, they're, they're abysmal. Uh, they've lost six in a row in the league uh, on their travels. And I know Newport... I have lost the last two. They had a, they had a tough um, mm. FA Cup game against Spurs, obviously, home and away. They lost the last two in the league. However, they were both away and both both tough fixtures, really, you know, against Lincoln and, and Colchester. But they're a different kettle of fish at home. They're pretty good. Um, and uh, they're unbeaten in five at home and have lost two all season at Rodney Parade. So I think against the Forest Green side, who are devoid of confidence and, you know, really struggle on the road. I think 1.9 is good value for Newport. So that's what I'm going for. Lance, can one of you check if we're actually live there? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are live. <laughs> no, because my, I'm sorry, uh, my screen has gone blank here. Right then. Uh, yeah. And your comment has only showed up now. All right, we are definitely live. Yeah, fair enough. Don't worry, then. Why? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. Don't worry. Uh, so Sunday, look, tell us, tell us again about your um, about, about the derby in Birmingham, uh, please, Dan. Um, yeah. So we play uh, a team whose name I don't like to say or write, um, <laughs> um, whose initials are AVFC. Who? Um, yeah. Well, I, I'll just call them them. Um, we're playing them. Uh, it's it's the return fixture this season. It's always horrible. It's always feisty on the pitch. It's always feisty off the pitch. Um, I was I was playing for the for the other guys uh, some of the uh, the past fixtures, like the one in two thousand two um, at um, their place when Dion Dublin got sent off. Jerry Good Johnson got sent off. Um, there's all uh, there's always drama. Like when we drew two two and Mikhail Forsell scored. Literally, sorry. <laughs> Stone John scored literally in the last minutes, in the last seconds of the game, last kick of the yeah. game, 2-2. Um, there's always feistiness off, uh, on and off the terraces. It's, it, it's brutal. And tomorrow's going to be the same. Um, they, go into, they come into the game on the back of six wins. We're in half-decent form, but we're not that good. 
but form goes out the window because uh, basically everyone knows what's at stake here. And yeah, um, they could hold this at 3 a.m. on on a Wednesday night, on a Wednesday morning, and people would still turn up drunk and fight. <laughs> Um, not that I'm condoning football violence, but it happens. And yeah, um, my personal advice betting on this is don't, um, because for sure I couldn't pick. Um, I couldn't pick one because mm. well, I'm too close to it as well. I'd, there's no way I could back them to win, and I don't feel comfortable enough trying to back us to win. Cards maybe I'd look at, but yeah, just um, watch it and understand a true English derby. Hopefully there's goals. I don't want to see a boring nil nil, but I will watch it. Um, yeah, goals would be good. Um, preferably for us. <laughs> <laughs> preferably for us. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, we, so there's a midfielder who plays Birmingham City called Check and Die, and to call him a footballer might be a bit generous. <laughs> um, he's just a mass of legs and arms that runs and launches itself at people. <laughs> He's really good in the French league, but in England he's been terrible. But um, yeah. well, he's, he's not been great. But I've just got this feeling he's going to launch someone into the stands tomorrow, and I'm going to love it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> um, what's uh, what's your tip then for Sunday, Dan? Okay, so Premier League, um, Newcastle United against Manchester United. Um, Newcastle haven't won at home since in the Premier League since about October, November. And Manchester United have got a decent away record. Somehow, Manchester United have 1.65 to win this. And I don't understand why. Um, I talked to Martin about it. And Martin agrees with me. It should be 1.4, 1.5 for Manchester United, which means there's value. So, yeah, that's my tip. Go for Man U to beat Newcastle. Okay, and for you, man? Uh, my tip is actually, um, I mentioned it in... Um, a news article on the website. Again, I'll, I'll post a link in, in a moment. But um, it's in the Bundesliga, and it's Stuttgart versus Borussia Mönchengladbach. Now, as much as I probably think Mönchengladbach might sneak the win here, I think there's better value in the goals market. Um, Stuttgart, one point above the relegation zone, um, having a terrible season by their standards, to be honest, and lowest scorers in the league as well. Um They've only scored once in the last four at home. Um, Mush and Gladbach, on the other hand, as well, have only have only scored once in the last four away. Um, they're not having a, a great run of things either. However, they've got Reese Oxford back now, and if he starts, I'll rate him highly. It's a shame we let him go uh, back on loan, but he wanted to go, and I think he'll get game time. Mush and Gladbach, and he'll, you know, he'll, he'll be a real force in the Bundesliga. So they both sides aren't scoring many goals at the moment, um, and for me. I think under two and a half goals at 1.94, actually, is pretty good value. Um, I can see it being maybe a, a sneak a 1 0 Borussia, Borussia Dort, um, Dortmund, Borussia Munich Club back win. Um, yeah, there, there's not going to, for me, there's not going to be many goals in this game. Uh, so I think value there. Cool, good man. Uh, and Nelson, then, lads, uh, you're looking forward to from the weekend's football? Um, I'll let you go first, not, Martin. Yeah, not, I'm just having a little look now. Um, what else is I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to what Carvis Carvalho is going to come out with after Swansea versus Burnley. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, for those who didn't see, on uh, the press conference yesterday, he turned up with a bunch of cakes and told everyone he was, a sh- he was the chef. He'd cook them. <laughs> um, I think that it was to do... Um, here in Poland, it was uh, Fat Thursday yesterday, which is kind of like a Christian festival. Last Thursday before Lent, eat a load of like good food because soon you can't. And it's Pancake Port- Tuesday but with donuts. Yeah, so Portugal have a similar thing. I think it's something to do with that. And um, Carvalho was asked about um, about Burnley because obviously Burnley were doing really well. And Sean Dice came out with that uh, Paris Man in Proudsville thing and they, they, they went like um, pear shapes a little bit. And they asked him um, about how he felt about what, what he thought about that. And I've got to quote this directly because Carvalho deserves me not to paraphrase him. Um, I'm just getting it here. Um, it, it, it's, it's beautiful. Um, 
So he was asked, could Swansea emulate Burnley, who are seventh in the Premier League? He answered, we'll see. What I want now is not to be relegated. We want to marry before talking about the honeymoon. <laughs> uh, he's amazing, isn't he? <laughs> he's class. Um, uh, but for me, just looking in, just looking in England at the weekend, I think there's a little bit of value maybe on Peterborough to beat Gillingham, and probably a little bit of value on Notts County to beat Barnet, uh, both away from home in League One and League Two. Um, so you know, I'm interested in both of those games, but nothing else really stands out for me um, over the weekend. I've gone for um. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say I've gone for in the Derby versus Norwich game. Um, only one team, to, uh, most one team to score. So both teams to score no. And I'm just trying to find how much it got. I think it was one point, one point eight or something like that. Where are you, Tip? <laughs> uh, okay, well I'll explain why I've gone for it. Um, yeah. But Derby have kept a bunch of clean sheets at home. Norwich City have kept a bunch of clean sheets away. Um, it's a game that screams it's going to be really, really tight, nil-nil, mm. one-nil, or something like that. So, yeah, I think it's a, I, th- I think there's value in it. Um, yeah. Because the, the both teams' score market, as I recall, was, was very even in that game, and I didn't understand it because, like, both teams are very, very good defences. So, yeah, that's well, impossible. So I also think on Sunday, Liverpool are a little bit, um, a little bit long away to Southampton. Uh, might be worth considering Liverpool on Sunday. Um, do, do, do you think they rock up at Southampton just, you know, like uh, to have a look at who they're going to buy in the summer? <laughs> it, it, yeah, it is just Southampton versus their, Southampton, isn't it? <laughs> cashing their loyalty card points, you know. That's exactly it. Right. Then it's a donut exactly. with their coffee or something. <laughs> buy the goalkeeper or something, you know. Yeah, um, yeah I was just having a quick look at the ice hockey there uh, for tonight. Um, oh, where about lessons? Carolina Hurricanes and the and Canucks. Um, overs looks good. It's a decent price. Um, the, the most of them, yeah, most of the money coming in on that is uh, for uh, unders. But I think mm-hmm. uh, that they've been scoring enough between them that it should go under, that it should go over, and it's a decent price there. So it's a value pick, uh, uh, really. Um, I, 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 I expect that to come in tonight. So I've only won, I've only a Saturday tip for his lads. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to um, Napoli and Lazio tomorrow, but uh, we won't be back for the ice hockey, so I'm going to have to record it. And, uh, and Fiorentina Juventus tonight as well. I think that's yeah. one of the So it'll be interesting to see uh, how Juventus... Um, uh, approach this one with uh, the Champions League matches on Tuesday but um, yeah, lads, I suppose that's pretty much it then isn't it from us yeah I think so, yeah, so uh, alright then let's do our social media stuff uh, Martin where are you on social media yeah guys on Twitter you can find me at ProTips to ENG and on Facebook ProTips to Marty in three separate words and Dan uh, I'm ProTips to Dan on Twitter all one word ProTips to Dan on Facebook all one word nice and easy but, of course, you can always find us on the ProTips UK Facebook page where we're broadcasting yes. this and in our groups as well. Just ask us some questions. The only thing I would say, um, please don't ask us for short tips by, by Facebook message because, yeah. There are generally none. There are none. And generally, you'll get told by me not to, uh, not, not to waste our time. Um, yeah. But, yeah, we don't do fixed games. We don't do short bets. But what we will do is we will help you understand betting markets. And yeah. if you ask us, um, like, if we think something's value, we can certainly answer that. Um, but, yeah, if you want us to uh, give you 17 wins for the sports pez jackpot, unfortunately, uh, my crystal ball's out of service at the moment. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I could pick 17 games. <laughs> we wouldn't be doing this, that's for sure. No, neither would I. <laughs> Surely not. Right then. And uh, as well, uh, make sure and check out the Pro Tips to shop as well because uh, we're doing a limited offer where, where, you, can, um, uh, where you can have, uh, where, sorry, where you can be, become a premium member for 5,000 uh, Pro Tips to coins. Now, it sounds a lot, but it's not because when you sign up to Pro Tips, we give you 10,000. So you can get two days of premium for essentially free. Uh, when you sign up to Pro Tipster. So check that out. There's some great tipsters there. 
and you can follow their tips. Uh, it's really easy to do. Just go to the website, uh, log in, you'll get your 10,000 uh, coins, then uh, spend them in the shop, 5,000 per day in the premium, and uh, go up then to the top of the website, click on tipsters, and have a look for the best tipsters there. It's, yeah. it's really that simple, you know. And if you do it today, you'll also get a premium newsletter tomorrow morning. Um, me and Dan will have a tip and a coupon for you for the weekend. And our hit rate's pretty decent in that, so don't miss out on that. Don't miss out. Yeah, yeah I landed, in the newsletter yesterday, I landed a 2.59 shot. So, very uh, nice. Normal, wasn't it? I saw that. Yeah, uh, Strasbourg, Strasbourg to win in the cup against Grenoble, and they won 3 0. Nice and easy. Yeah. Grenoble are my French team. I was a little disappointed, but I was happy for you, Dan. You know? <laughs> All right, lads. Uh, good to talk to you. We'll be back on Monday with another one of these uh, live streams where we'll be talking about the weekend's action gone. And, of course, the upcoming champion. Champions League is back. All right, guys. Thanks. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Still there. Oh, it's <laughs> again. oh come on. <laughs> Oh, this software, I don't know.